Yeah. This one here I'm patterning. This, uh, this one will have a Stuart uh, inlay on it too. I've got the peg head done, but I, yeah. I don't have the fingerboard on it. And my banjo necks, when I make them, this is this is pretty much in just in the square, of course. Right. But when I make them, I cut a, a half inch channel down through. Yeah. And I put a half inch piece of square steel tubing. There you go. So it's light. Yeah. And that neck will never warp. No. You know who told me, taught me how to do that? You ever hear of a guy named Bob Flesher? He's one of the best claw hammer banjos players you'll ever see in your life. Oh yeah. He's uh, he. I went out to uh, West Virginia, Elkins, West Virginia, and that's where I learned to do my my banjo tree. Yeah. Years ago, and he was my teacher. Uh, he taught me how to do. That. Yeah. And then it doesn't spoil any of your inlay because right. you, don't have, you don't have that like little Gibson, you don't have right. that thing like Gibson had on there. Exactly. Uh, but he taught me how to do that. He that's the way he makes all his and he makes if you look in on YouTube or on uh, Google and just put in Bob Flesher banjos and all of his stuff and he's marvelous at making banjos. And he, yeah. he taught me how to do a lot of the stuff that yeah. that I do. And I'll never be able to be as good as he is. He's fantastic. But he's been doing it probably three times longer than I have. So. The other thing I was going to mention is the fret scale on this one. You got a you, well, the 24 inch and this one oh. is you know on on an instrument on a banjo, any kind of stringed instrument, it matters. Right. Where these are, in other words, right. if if this fret scale was the same as that fret scale, but it was only that long then you couldn't play it because right. you you have to have there's just a certain length that you have to have between the here's the, the nut on, on fret scales you count up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven at your twelfth fret that's half in the middle that's half so then you set your bridge the right. same distance from the twelfth fret to here yeah as it is from the nut to the twelfth fret. Right. If you get that distance right, right. it'll play. If but the thing is, a lot of people don't realize that if you count, like if you took this and counted out twelve, mm -hmm. and then cut it off or cut it up wherever, oh, and right. you know the the and added it to these it. have to all match the right. length of the overall thing. You have to get that twelfth fret yeah. half distance. So that when your string goes to twenty four. It's, it's it has that equal distance, right. and there's a there's a there's a pattern for how far each one of these is apart. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I've I've had people say you know they take a neck like that and they say I'm going to stick this on, and they'll send me a picture of something about like that. Mm -hmm. So they say I'm going to stick that here. Well, if you do, you can't you, your your tailpiece is going to be down past what you have to work with. You know you have to get it long enough mm -hmm. so that it works with whatever string pattern you got. But a lot of people don't even realize <laughs> there is such a thing. You've done that here. Here, here, on your two. You know, anytime you come up with a different size net, you have to have a different layout for your yeah. sets. The ukulele neck that I make right there, hanging right. in the door. And nowadays, if you go in a banjo store, everything's 26 inches or 26 yeah. and a half, or whatever. I mean, there is no, there there's is no. Nothing, there's and no, that's no, the beauty of building them yourself, because you can build them yeah. you know, just about whatever fret scale you want. Um, I'd have to count on here. I keep yeah. the fretboard. So there's one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's the twelfth fret right there. Yeah. So you're probably talking what? Seven inches. Yeah. That was probably yeah. fourteen inch fret yeah. scale. And the other thing that comes into play is where your where's your sweet spot in your in the rest of your instrument. Because even a banjo head has a, a point that sounds better than just anywhere and and it's going to be even more so on a wooden instrument because on a wooden instrument you can't this is uh, <laughs> it's still I like it when a, she goes a, wow it's still just a tear I sprayed it yesterday it's still just a bit tacky but it's dry enough to hold up but that that has a what was the name of it it's beautiful um Anyway, it's one of Gibson's fancy inlay patterns that yeah. that it has on it. And once I get the tuners and stuff on it, it'll be it'll look nice. <coughs> this is my uh, just uh, where I do my spraying and stuff. And I keep all my stains and stuff that I use for 
Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then I have, that blows all the fumes outside. So. Yeah.